Hello everybody and welcome to Tales of the Black Forest Kore mo de... No, 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 sorry Kore mo do... Chia... Rocha... I... No... I don't know Anyways Yes, I read Japanese, don't judge me <laughs> Anyways, moving on this is a game, RPG Maker, like all the other ones that I've added a series to so far, and that is loud. Wow, that is intense. Okay, okay, I feel you, music. I feel you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. Character names and some locations are fictitious. Okay, this story is inspired by real historical events. Okay, sounds dope. When I was eight years old, my mom and I had a car accident. By a stroke of luck, I survived. After that accident, every time I think of the time before I was eight years old, an endless dark forest would emerge in my mind. Okay. 1998. 10th year in the Heisei era. 1998, one year after I was born. Okay. When I open my eyes, I find myself in an unfamiliar train station. The mountains are shrouded in thick mist and the shadows of a dark forest are flickering. I have a backpack over there. Kihara Kashin. Shikanaki Station. I thought I took the train home. Shikanaki Muda is a village near Kudomori town. Before the car accident happened, my family lived in Kudomori town. My father hardly mentioned my mother or anything about Kudomori Town. Okay. Nya nya nya. Why is nya 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 at the bottom? Okay. Sprint. We're gonna need that, it sounds like. Interact is Z, just like any other. Kobayashi Sen Sensei's new mystery novel. I've been excited about it for a long time, but I should read it only after I return home. Okay. One way train ticket. It's a train ticket to go home. I thought I took the train. Why am I here? Homework! Oh no! It's okay, that's not important. I never did my homework in school. I really didn't. I'm going to advance to my third year soon and my homework is getting heavier. Ew. I'd better leave it here. Yes, leave it on that bench! It's the additional list of books my father told me to read. After my mother passed away, my father became a quiet person. He'd often give me a list of books to read so that I could kill time. Other than that, we hardly talk to each other. Don't investigate yet. Too late. Okay. Obtain a torch. Press A to use it. Okay. It's like, uh, return. Nya nya nya. Shikanaki Station. Nyanta. Meow. Meow? That's what noise a cat makes. Meow meow meow. This cat is trying to tell me something. Meow meow. Well, I can't understand it. Let's check the other places first. After finishing a storyline conversation, you can try talking to various characters again. Talking again usually won't provide informa important information such as puzzles or storyline, but you can get to know the characters better and even get some unexpected Easter eggs. The sound of a door being unlocked came from this train station. Progress to the next scene will only be unlocked when all the important clues in the scene are investigated. Normally there are markers on the screen for important clues. If you can't leave the scene, try to find out if there are any clues you have missed. But not all clues and puzzles have prompts. You can also investigate many things that have no markers. Maybe you'll find some interesting Easter eggs. Meow. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, hello. Shikanaki Mora is the land of fruits. As the land of fruits welcomes you. Oh, okay. It sounds like a train horn. Tales of the Black Forest. This has a very return one-way trip kind of feel to it, which I still need to finish. That was weird. A loudspeaker that has fallen from the wall. It's still buzzing va vaguely. This is FM 85.4, voice of Shikanaki Railways. Okay, well. 
Floor is badly damaged and there is a large bottomless hole. White feather is floating on top. Obtained a white feather. Heaven's fire will rain like a thunderstorm. Cries of anguish will come like strong gusts of wind. Sama will manifest itself and save the living from misery. This is 85.4. FM. It sounds like a form of preaching by some religious group. Speaking of which, some rumors have been going around that next year will be the end of the world. Oh, is it 2011? Oh, no, that's, it said 90, 98. Oh, 99. That's right. 2K. Uh, it's probably why this form of preaching by some religious... Oh, I missed that. Ki... Ki... Hara... Ki Hara... Okay. Hello, I'm here. The feather is shining brightly. That noise mixed with the countless howling is pulling me into the darkness. Just when I'm about to lose my consciousness, a warm breeze brushes against my ears. I muster all my strength to lift my heavy eyelids. Oh, hello. That hole is gone. When I open my eyes again, a girl with silver hair is sitting quietly under the moonlight that is streaming down. Her eyes are like plum blossoms that have fallen on the snow. When did this girl appear? The room also seems to be different. I excuse me? No, you cannot talk to me. The girl points to her lips and shakes her head. A vow of silence? I'm sorry. The girl takes out a notebook. A set of words automatically shows up on the notebook's cover. I'm cursed and can't talk. Oh, it's a VTuber. <laughs> Looks like a VTuber. Cursed? If you want to know what this place... What is this place? Why you're here and such? I can't answer them. Anyway, you and I are trapped here because of the curse. But I know how to remove the curse. If you want to remove it, you can come with me to Kuromori Cho Gekijo. Bless you. Okay. Oh, yeah, Gekijo. Okay, I do know that. Uh, Kuromori Cho Gekijo. Kuromori Town Theater. That place has a way to remove the curse. It's written right here on the notebook's first page. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smarts. Kuromori Cho Gekijo has the power to remove the curse hidden inside. What are you doing? Leave my laptop alone, cat. Oh my gosh. This cat. This notebook doesn't look like anything by humans. This notebook is very accurate. For example, look here at the top. It said I will meet a girl with bobbed black hair who is a little cold and nerdy by chance. <laughs> Isn't that very accurate? How do you know I'm nerdy though? Like, he that's not proven yet. <clears throat> And of course I'm cold. It's cold in this place. Anyway, this notebook wouldn't lie. Maybe this is a form of guidance from a deity. So, what should we do now? Go to Kodimori Cho Gekijo. Before we go there, you need to remove Nencha first. Nencha? The white feather you picked up has endowed you with magical powers, and one of them is Nencha. So long as you touch an electrical appliance that is working normally, you can read its memories and enter its memories. Did I come here because I touched that loudspeaker just now? Bingo! And it's also because of Nensha that the loudspeaker has returned to the wall? Has it? Yes. Nensha enables traveling back to a certain point in time. Since you have gone back in time, the loudspeaker is now hanging up there on the wall. If you want to end Nencha, you need to touch the electrical appliance that is used for Nencha once again. At this height, I should be able to touch it if I jump, but the floor looks unstable. It feels like it might collapse any time. Um, you can try by touching other electrical appliances. Oh, that's, that's interesting. The notebook said that. How did you get this notebook? Kihara-san. This is a trade secret. I can't answer you right now. How do you know my name? You know my name? Ah, uh, yes. The notebook. I think this person is lying. This person's playing with me. I'll introduce myself then. 
My name is Kira Taniyuki. I am a full-time writer. Writer. She seems to be around my age. Stop daydreaming. Hurry up and find an electrical pl appliance for Nensha. O okay. Manuscript deadline. Are you writing? Yes, the most dreadful deadline is coming. The publisher will blacklist me if I delay the manuscript again. Do writers have such a hard life? What are you going to write on your book? <clears throat> um, simply put, it's about the strange news and bizarre tales all over Japan. By the way, the publisher has already published the volume on Sapporo and the volume on Kyoto. You can get a copy at all bookstores nationwide. You went to Sapporo? <clears throat> well, I haven't. The trip costs a lot of money and my remun remuneration remuneration wow i say japanese words better than i can read english words and my remuneration can only make ends meet how did you write the book <laughs> nobody would find out if i made up this kind of bizarre tales oh my gosh i currently live in sapporo if you don't go there in person i don't think you can understand sapporo's beauty excuse me i'm so sorry is that so then I'll take it as an invitation. Oh. <clears throat> the clock's hands are still. Uh, what is a cabinet with a combination lock doing here? Kiritani-san. Is there a combination lock? Or there is a combination lock. Any hints for the combination of the notebook? No. We can't always depend on the notebook. The gods would only test us occasionally. Oh. Ah, what a fright. The seat's cushion suddenly moved. There's a piece of paper under the cushion. Which one? <coughs> Which one? Uh, seat's cushion. Come on. Uh, which seat? Come on. Look at the paper under the cushion first. Maybe it has some. There is no cushion moved. So I can save here. Okay. Oh, this? Uh, a piece of paper that has turned yellow is under the cushion. There are scribbles on it. These things must be hidden. I'll be killed if someone finds out. It's safe there, but my memory is getting worse. I might as well write a code only I can understand. Red cushions, blue cushions, one cushion, two. I like big anime, and you like them, too. <laughs> Red cushions, blue cushions, chairs, light bulbs. Oh. All right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, who is the one who said? I have to find something. Okay, okay. okay. Red cushions, blue cushions, chairs, light bulbs. Okay. Three, four, eight, two. Three, four, eight, two. What are you? If anyone notices a person carrying suspicious containers inside a train, please remain calm and inform an attendant immediately. If any unusual gas is detected, please cover your mouth and nose with wet cloth. Move to a safe area away from the gas and go to the nearest hospital for an examination prompt promptly. So we're three years in the past. <clears throat> I remember the Eden subway gas attack back then was very shocking. Seems the notice was posted recently. That means I have to come to the year 19. I have come to the year. Okay, so three, four, eight, two. 
There's some receipts and junk in the cabinet. Pack of batteries. <gasps> I just realized there's a Totoro up in the top left. That's a Totoro. Oh, that's cool. There's some flyers in the cabinet. <clears throat> Shinditen Goku's... Shinditen, Shinditen Goku's benevolent ba patriarch will bring forth the trials. Only through death and devotion can one stay far away from endless suffering. Heavenly Kingdom of Truth, Shindi Tengoku. Uh, seems to be the cult behind the subway gas attack in 1995. <coughs> Is the station master also a follower? Did she manage to open it? Mm, I found a pack of batteries. You can probably use it on the radio. Kihara-chan, I'm impressed. Hurry up and activate Nincha. If I insert the batteries, the radio should work normally. Still no response? Try tuning the radio. 85.4. Right? No, 84.5. <coughs> Thank you for sharing your story with us. Next, we'll be bringing Nakajima-san's Ichigo Ichi once in a lifetime to you. It's a music radio station. I love Nakajima-san's songs, but I don't have time to enjoy it now. So what is it, 85.4? Your cell 526G mobile phone so light is beyond anyone's imagination. It's an ad for the latest eh, mobile phone. You don't know what a mobile phone? Yes, uh, I live a relatively traditional life. A mobile phone is a kind of portable telephone which is getting popular in recent years. Uh, I know what is a telephone. You say hello to the speaker in the box. Inside the speaker will make a set of sounds. But Kyocell 526G was released in 1998. And we've gone back to 1995. How come it's airing in the ad in 1998? Nensha is essentially a bridge that connects memories from different points in time. If you can receive radio broadcast signals in 1998, that means Nensha has succeeded. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh, here we go again. Heaven's fire will rain like a thunderstorm. Cries of anguish will come like strong gusts of wind. Something Sama will manifest itself and say Sama, which is Lord, will man itself, manifest itself <laughs> and save the living from misery. Again. The feather is shining brightly. All right, well, how am I supposed to get back over? It seems I'm back. <clears throat> oh, the ladder. Where's Kiritani-san? Yeah, it's Totoro. Tonari ne tero, tetero. Tonari... What's that? Why is there something... Oh? <laughs> I am Kiritani! Because of that curse, I've changed my appearance from a human to pigeon. I can... That's not a pigeon. That's an egg. That's a freaking egg with feet and a fluff. <laughs> I can only talk when I take the form of a pigeon. You're saying you're a pigeon right now? This isn't important. Don't forget to take me with you if you intend to leave this place. Don't you have wings? Idiot! She's a lot more aggressive now. I'm still not used to a bird's body. All right, my pocket should be big enough to fit something like an onigiri of this size. That's funny that she called him an onigiri. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to look out for more videos coming out to you guys soon. I'm, I'm excited for this set of series that I have coming out to you guys. I'm really enjoying these. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.